This video tutorial reviews planning a total hip replacement using Smart Hip. To begin Smart Hip, from the blue man in the elective procedures, choose the hip of interest, in this case the right, and the total hip replacement icon. The template favourites for the procedure appear. If correct, no changes need to be made. The hip can be planned in both the AP and lateral view. Later we'll look at the lateral view, but here we just are planning on the AP pelvis, open x-ray. Use the marker ball visible. Click once and scale the image, AP and marker. Now in planning, select the Smart Hip Wizard. The Smart Hip Wizard is a combination of both the transitional line and hip joint AP wizard which may need to be used if the x-ray you are using is not well imaged radiographically or if not enough femur is shown on the image. In this case the image is satisfactory. We use the circular component and outline the femoral head trying to establish the original centre of rotation. In this case where the head is damaged, we can judge where the original head would have been. If necessary, drag the circle and measure on the other side. The next stage is to identify two points of reference of equivalence on the femur, but these need to be selected on the lesser trochanter. If the lesser trochanter is not seen, it may be necessary to use the hip joint AP wizard instead. Then take the horizontal line and drag it approximately to two reference points of equivalence on the pelvis and use the square handles to achieve a tilt. This gives you an outcome of leg length difference for the femurs. Next, go to the find femur button where also you will endeavour to identify the femoral canal and establish the anatomical axis. If any small adjustments need to be made, you can make them now or you can magnify to that area. Position template will now take you to templating, but before moving here, the measurements that have been made, such as diameter, offset and leg length difference, are all shown here in the planning results panel. Go to position template. Now in templating, the recommended sizes are shown in the dark blue bands and are automatically shown in position on the screen. A number of parameters which have not been selected, such as socket and offset, which are shown in the red boxes, need to be selected. Once everything is selected, the templates are fully shown. And unless you've selected to correct any leg length discrepancy by positioning the cup, it will need to be moved in this case to a more natural position. Any changes you make to the graphics will have an impact on the message box. Leg length discrepancy adjustments are shown and also the planned medial or lateral offset. Adjustments to things such as head length will have an impact on these particular measures. As will offset, it's possible to view the template on the contralateral side if required by clicking on the blue man, positioning and then switching back using to wizard to realign the template. Unless you've chosen to automatically use reduction, the manual reduction tool will be available where you can see the potential outcome of your plan. Just click or click again to see the effect. You can also still move the templates by clicking in the cup and move them in a joined fashion, seeing what measurement outcomes you have, or by moving the femur independently. If you want to make any reference measurements between the bone and template positions, you can use things such as the line tool, or also the angle tool for cup inclination if a reference line is to be used. There are wizards for neck cuts, opening the wizards area. Collared neck cut guide is useful for some stems where it can be positioned according to the cut required 
and a reference made to any anatomical landmark as needed. Be aware that cemented and uncemented stems work in a different way graphically. Cemented systems maintain the head position and move the stem. Cementless systems such as this one maintain the stem position and move the head when adjustments are made to head length. It's possible to look at the report of anything that you've chosen such as measurements made and cups and stems selected plus any other measurements that have been saved in the system. Or alternatively, it's not necessary to look at the report, it will be automatically saved to the packs when save or commit are used. This ends the tutorial on the smart hip.